Ya hawa, basho, ya wishai, basho, wakakudash. Number one, I said, the elders here, also with a great meal. Soul site, takes our life to the verb, two series of charity. As always, a we the brothers from the great meal, Stone Chicago, Kent, we back out of here. Back out of priest of work, you know, hey, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, all the Israelites point to the Holy Scriptures, you know, for real. This is, uh, this Matthew. This is Matthew chapter 10. Matthew chapter 10 and verse 6, it says, These twelve Yahweh Shai sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans, enter you not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, and as you go, preach, saying, The kingdom of the Most High is at hand. And that's what the men of the Lord are out here doing today. And hey, the Lord has set up his prophets, preachers, pastors to tell his people to, uh, to tell them, Come. No, come back, return. Yeah. No, nope. start with the elders and the apostles with a great most of the elders before them. A prophecy has been taking place in the latter days. That's what we prophesied. It said the children of Israel and the book of Hosea will dwell well in the days without a king, a priest, a rabbit, actually. I got you. I got you. I got you. Yeah. I'm going to sit and read the first time. I'm going to get now. I'm going to get now.
All right? But they have the food for the weight. A lot of these other Israelites, they have the skin on them, all right, they, you know, the bones, all that stuff, but they don't have the breath of life, all right, which is this wisdom, this word, okay, it's really not in them. Yeah, they know that they're Israelite, they have, you know, a part of their identity, but they don't have it, you know, fully, they don't have that breath of life in them, man, you know? That's why their doctrines, you know, it's all messed up, you know, the things don't, uh, you know, what I'm looking for, yeah, uh, line up properly, okay? Because hey, somebody's got to be a part of the two-thirds. There's got to be false pastors, prophets, yep. okay, preachers. Not everybody's meant to fully get this word. That's right. Now, in fact, you said that I got one real quick. This, uh, real quick. This, uh, this, uh 2 Peter chapter 2, verse, uh, 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 1. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you. And so there's false prophets and false teachers, all right, uh, hey, among, amongst the Israelites right now. And it's real evident. When you when you watch these other camps, man, they're out of their goddamn minds, man. All right? They're either paid off or they're just fucking completely bugged out, man. All right? That's why they don't teach that, you know, the uh, incredible, uh, what is that, uh, Device, okay. You know, it, it's the, the chip, man. It's, you know, it is the slot. Demo TV. Demo TV, man. All right. It's, it's crazy. You gotta sit there and speak the code all day, man. That's how you know we got the chip, man. You can't even say particular words without them, you know, giving a damn strike, man. It says, "Who probably shall bring in damnable heresies?" You can see a lot of camps do that too, man. You can have sex in the Sabbath, right? He had that bug out, uh, General Johanna talk about uh, he promoting adultery, yeah. drug use, okay? Uh, disrespecting the Lord, man. Not teaching the name. That's a damnable heresy, man. All right? It says, even denying the Lord that bought them. And we speak against the truth. You speak against the Lord. But the Lord said, what's that? St. John 14 and 6. The Lord is the truth. So you speak against the truth, you speak against the Howard Sad. He the one that told us, man. Alright? The Howard Sad is the reason that we stand in front of people today. Alright? He works just where they say uh his own blood. Right? He said, uh, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. Because when you speak against the truth, man, you err. And that's a penalty that comes with that, man. Destruction, hell fire. Alright? Take the trouble. All right, in the day of temptation, in the hour of temptation, when they make the MOTV, the uh, uh, mandatory for the whole earth, the Lord not gonna have his spirit on you, man. So you're gonna die of hunger. And to the point you're gonna run down to eat for help, and you're gonna end up taking a tip and be destroyed, man. All right? It says, and many shall follow their pernicious ways, because the Lord set up false prophets for those who didn't want. What he said on uh, Isaiah. He said, uh, uh, make the, uh, the people fat and our hearts heavy. Because the Lord don't want to heal two-thirds of uh, Israel, man. Two-thirds he want to destroy, man. All right? The only living that's going to make it is the elect. And a lot of camps don't push that, man. All right? This ain't about waking up every Israelite, man. This ain't about this. You meet a guy, hey, you want to do Israel? Yeah, test the guy out, man. What do you say, uh, uh cast at your pearls before swine, man? This ain't just no, uh, come one, come all thing, man. That's what the churches teach, man. This Christian doctrine. Oh, you just come in, brother. You just come in, you come in. No, man. All right? In the book of Sirach, they tell you, man, you're on there and you're on there. You can't just give them all or give them everything that you learn, learn anything that you didn't even know that man. You didn't even try that man, man. They say the trial of the reason is in them. So when you try him or see what he's about, man, ask him questions. He and he start to uh, uh, speak through the buttons of his heart, man. Now you know what that man really about. Now you know what type of integrity he really hold, man. Because niggas were faking all through whatever, man. Niggas always bullshit, playing games and shit, man. We ain't up here playing games. This is serious work. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that's why your apostle just mentioned the outside teaching. He said you just don't give this word to anybody. You might have a hug and be cool. But he ain't really serious about coming outside teaching, so what's the point of even giving him the word, man? Alright? 
the scripture talk about it now. That man, you read the first verse. Real quick, let's get the scripture. In 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 1, it says, Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. It says, And all the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, uh -huh. the same commit thou to faithful men. It said, Commit thou to faithful men. That's what we're looking for, man. What did he tell Edwin? Man, I was just getting it. Yeah, that's that's bro. Go ahead. He said, commit this to faithful men, man. Go ahead. Who shall be able to teach others also. So that's what we need, man. What the Lord said. He said the harvest is plenteous, but the labor was a few, man. We don't need nobody holding hands in their pockets, man. We need men to come and spread this word, man. Because the faster this word spreads, the faster the elect can wake up, the faster the word can go out, the faster the Lord can bring a prophecy to pass, man. All right? That's why I said come to good gifts. Come to prophesy, man. All right? The word has to go out first. Then the Lord said what? You should be justified in your sayings. Because the word that we speak, he put these words in our mouth. So we got to say the word first. Then he brings the action, man. You see? That was it on that, bro. This is uh, 2nd Ezra chapter 12. And uh, I'll start at, at 36. Not only has been met to know the secret of the highest. Therefore, write all these things that thou hast seen in a book and hide. Because that's what all the election to know. They tell you that there's a fuck tap. They say none of the witnesses don't understand, man. Only the righteous will understand. And that's talking about the elect. That's the only one that can sing this song, man. All right? And what's that Psalm 47? It says, singing praise of the Lord with understanding, man. We all can get understanding. So you can sing a song, but you really don't understand it. The Lord ain't, ain't, ain't no son on it, man. All right? But this is the offer we're giving, man. This is the ultimate list of reason. And these words will fill our lips with the offering, man. All right? Or for the priest, man. And it says, and teach them to the wise of the people huh? whose hearts thou knowest may comprehend and keep these secrets. Hey, that's heavy, man. Those that you know may comprehend, man. Hey, that, that, that backs up the apostle said, man. You just don't get his truth, no, any really guy, man. All right? A guy you know, he ain't, you know his dad will change, man. The last 15, 20 years, he's been doing the same shit, man. Yeah, I know we in Israel. Crack real quick, man. You don't get up the truth to a guy like that, man. All right? You give it, hey, you gotta try, hey, what did it say? Try the spirit. Got it. Oh, that's the one I'm talking the whole okay. time, brother. Spirit, hey. That's the book, that's the book of First John, chapter 4, verse 1. Okay. Beloved, believe not every spirit, yeah. but try the spirits, where they are of Yahweh, because many false prophets have gone out to the world. Yeah, that's yeah. right, brother. I said, this the perfect example. Is that dude called that black, man? All right? Hey, he received the truth, right? All right, he was, I forgot what camp he was going to, right? He was showing up to the congregation, getting edified. And years later, this guy's talking about, uh, on social media, he's basically telling Jay Peter Smith that he should hit it, man. And that he, he should, uh, she shouldn't be with Will Smith, man. You know? Like how the brother said, hey, he knows he's Israel, but what's he still doing? Smoking? Trying to commit adultery? Hey, hey, hey Israel is a, a, a wicked-ass group of people, man. man. Uh, what's he say, laden with the nicknames, man? Yeah. Alright? Our people are uh, uh, messed up, man. Alright? Amongst my people are five wicked men. Oh, no, I was going to add on to that. He went back to the He called on the true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Then, years later, he went back to JC and, and being even a uh, more wicked gremlin than he was. I'm going to tell you, I'll definitely if you call upon the name on your anything. See, it's more than it's just called upon the name. You gotta walk this walk, man. Paul said you gotta be a Jew inwardly, man. Not just on his day to day like it's niggas that come out on Saturdays and then nigga all through the week. Niggas do niggas shit all the time, man. Niggas just cause niggas pray the Lord, the how the how about shit and then all through week they put uh, committed adultery, eating pork. I ain't doing shit to serve the Lord. Niggas gonna get destroyed, man. James 2 and 17. Even so faith, spirit, if it hath not works, yeah. is dead being alone. Yeah, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works. See, a lot of niggas can call on Lord or say this and that. I'm an Israelite. But then they have a secret truth. 
Are they trying to edify it? Yasharala? Are they changing their life around, man? See, the Lord is our action, man. Love is an action word, man. You say you love me? Prove it. Prove it, man. It ain't about, oh, yeah, I'm an Israelite, okay. Now I'm just, I'm a, a big standard. Like I'm, a, I'm a God, priest, king. No. It's more than that, man. It's a lifestyle, man. Keep going. It says, show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show you my faith by my works. I said, man, you got to, hey, you got to show the proof of the one they're going into, man. If you believe in how about seeing how it's sad, you so. You're going to be a brother, all right? You're going to put your diligence in. You're going to study. You're going to be involved in the ministry. You're going to know what's going on. You're going to be on your watch, all right? Because knowing you're an Israelite just ain't enough, man. If I may say, you know, you can't just talk to talk. You got to walk the walk, you know? You got to move, you know, in order to show you got... You know, in order to show you got faith, you know, you just can't talk, talk, and don't do nothing. That's right, bro. A lot of them, and you got to show discipline, which a lot, and a lot of brothers don't have, man. All right. Hey, look, look. The scriptures talk about what refraining from your appetites, refraining from your lust. Look, even if, um, what does it say? All things are lawful, but not expedient. Look, there's particular things that you can do that is technically on point. It's lawful. You're not breaking any law. But is it proper at that moment, man, okay, for that particular time period? That's why in the book of Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, it says what? There's a time and a season for everything, man, okay? Is it that season for me to do this or do that? See, a lot of, uh, see, another thing, too, with a lot of, um, a, a, a lot of uh, uh, guys, you know, that know that they're Israelites, they have no discernment, man. You need discernment in this truth, okay? And that's something that you learn through, you know, uh, uh, trials and tribulations, man. Okay. And I'll also really receive the instruction. Because yeah. you gotta be guided, man. Yeah, hey, you gotta be for that say, man, you come for here. Somebody gotta teach about the study. Somebody gotta teach what the watch out for by the walk. And then when you on the home, you gotta practice these things on the home, man. You know, day to day life it makes you better. See, you, if you I can tell you sometimes you might do it correct on the front, but then when you leave me, what is it, man, back with that change? Oh, uh, the first chapter, uh, he forgive a man, uh, 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 the looking glass yeah. on it, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you would tell somebody something, he'll say, oh, he's looking in the mirror, oh, yeah, I know who I am, but then he walk away, you do something totally different. I got you, right here, right. This is uh, James chapter 1 and 22. It says, but be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. So we, hey, we got to pay your brother was going into it. We gotta be in this thing truthfully, man. All right, we hey, the sale work out your own salvation, being trembling, man. All right, this ain't no group practice. The Lord coming to get us, man. He said he should take one out of the field, one should be left. All right, he should pick one from a family, or one from a city, two from a family, man. So that means the Lord gonna be selective. Grab him, grab him, grab him, grab him. All right, Lord, will we all make it? But hey, we gotta be in this thing for ourselves, man. You gotta want to make it. Go ahead. I was gonna say too. Uh, 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 basically, I forget where it said. I think the Apostle Paul said it. But it says, "Not only in my presence, brother, man. This is this Philippians chapter two and verse twelve. Wherefore, my beloved, if we have always obeyed, not have been against the law. This Philippians chapter two and verse twelve. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only." But how much? But like, but now much more yeah. in my absence. Not not only in the presence, but much more in the absence. See, that's the thing, man. And you, look, man, we're, we're like this. When you're when you're around, you know, brothers that you're, you're, you're strong, man. You know what I'm saying? They, you know, everybody knows. You know, uh, what I'm looking for, man. But uh, well, I told you, you miss yeah. You know, if you fall, a brother can pick you up. You know. Hey, we're a bunch of coals, man. When you hey, a bunch of coals are together, it, it gets hotter and hotter, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but, but hey, are you gonna be hot? All right, when no one's around, okay? Yeah. Are you gonna be doing the things that are commanded of you when no one's around, okay? Hey, this is serious business, man. And I'll say this: the majority of the time, you're by yourself, man. Yeah. You're not around uh, in the Aki, man. Okay? You're you're mainly by yourself, man. Hey, that's what the, uh, when you go into that word equity, you're really going to uh, righteous judgment from right from wrong, man. So you have to know right from wrong. You got to know at this point in time, when you're doing certain things wrong, 
and knowing when you're doing things right. That's why the scripture tells you follow the path of righteousness. Man. Why is that? Why is that? Because guess what? The, the path of righteousness is going to lead you to the Lord. It's going to lead you in success. It's going to lead you in uh, becoming that true God, man. All that wickedness is going to destroy you and lead to death. The scripture tells you that, man. This Philippians 2 and 12, it says, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and truth. I was going to say, hey man, we're all going to appear before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shemel Shai. Every man is going to get judged according to his works, okay? Hey, like the brother said, this is not, you know, uh, you're not in the group project where Hey, you, can, yeah, you can slack off and then hey, that other three members, you know, did a bunch of work and, you know, now you got to, hey, no, man, we're all going to get judged individually. So what have you offered to the, to, to the table, so to speak, man, to the altar? What was your sacrifice? That's something that you got to think about, man. What, what is your sacrifice to Yahweh Shemel Shai? Okay? And that's something that you got to think about as an individual, man. And that's where that self-examination comes from. All right, and that hey, you got to be doing that that daily, because a lot of guys they don't th they don't think about you know the, you know their day to day walk, you know. They just don't think about nothing, man. Hey, they don't they don't give no accountability about anything about their actions. I was talking to the, this nigga at the barber shop today, man. Right, I was supposed to train him and shit like that. I called him one morning, got him up, you know, five thirty. I come to the nigga house, I tell him be ready by six. So we can head out, go to the gym. I get to sit the nigga talking about he on the toilet. So I wait, I wait about 10 minutes, because I'm supposed to train him and get a little money. So the nigga don't come down until, the nigga don't, it's like 6.20, so I pull it off. The nigga tap me two minutes later, like, why you pull it off, this and that. I literally, this was just like a whole two months ago. I kid you not, I get into this nigga tap to me. Hey, I kid you not, this nigga got a whole different story. The nigga tell me, oh, you just came to my house. You pulled right off. You ain't even called me or anything. I'm what, nigga? What world are you living in? See, that's the thing with Jake. They don't want to deal with accountability. All right, see, look, the Lord, he he, he doesn't care, man, about and this or buds, this, that, and the third. All right, he doesn't want to hear. Look, man, the Lord doesn't want to hear excuses, man. All right? Fuck excuses. Are you going to do you, what you got to do or not, man? Simple as that. Hey, what the Lord look at something like great apparel? The man uh, uh, father has that. Right? Oh, yeah. Show you how rough the Lord is, man. Yeah, there you go. Right? The Lord is right that day, though. The Lord is rough, man. Alright, we just hey the Lord laid his life for the Lord was on his, uh, his sacrifice. The Lord didn't deal with women. Hey, the Lord didn't deal with the world, man. The Lord taught the Bible every day, sir. All right, for three years he taught strong, man, every day. All right, the Lord's the greatest example, man. This is the book of Luke 9 and 59. And he said unto another, follow me. But he said, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. Right? Yahweh yeah, Shai said unto him, let the dead bury the dead, but thou go and preach the kingdom of the Most High. The Lord said, let the dead bury the dead, man. All right, what's the deal? Hey, the only living is the ones who been woken up to this truth, man. And truth is sincere. Those that's dead are the people in the world, man. Hey, at this point, man, hey, you don't even, if you talking about you an African-American or a fucking Egyptology, hey, man, I'm not even talking to your ass, man. But you a dead person, man. All right? This is for those who know they Israelites, man. You got to get your shit together, man. The Lord not going to go here, man. All right, go ahead. Let's say so. Verse 61. Verse 61, and another also said, Lord, I will follow thee. Oh, oh, we, we back up again. Yeah. Verse 60, verse 60, Yahweh Shah said unto him, Let the dead bury the dead, but thou go and preach the kingdom of, of the Most High. Hey, because guess what's more important, man? What's more important than teaching this word, man? Ain't nothing more important than what, hey, the hey, end of the day when you, when you in the jail, don't you want the Lord to come ASAP? Don't you expect him to answer you ASAP, man? 
So why you ain't moving? Hey, we moving this too. We gotta move with urgency, man. Go ahead. It says verse 61. And another also said, Lord, I will follow thee, but let me first go and bind. So again, but let me first go bid them farewell, which were at home in my house. Right. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow, and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of the Most High. So he like, man, let me go do a few things in the world, man. That's basically what he was saying. Let me go do this real quick, Lord, real quick. I'm gonna get this lad 10,000 real quick. The Lord like, look, you look back, man, you ain't fit, man. So when he called Peter and uh, Andrew, they come to the next. I went straight away with the Lord, man. Y'all pray that. Talk to yourself. Tell the Lord that you have eternal, you have the keys to eternal life. So where, 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 where would she go? Where would we should go, Lord? Like that's the mindset you should have, man. Like the Lord have access to everything, man. See, man, to get anything, we gotta go to the Lord. And to be honest, the Lord know before we even ask him. He just wanna know if you're gonna ask. Ask him, man. That's the humblest thing, man. Cause nigga get proud. You know a nigga in the world be like, I did this. I got my job or I can make it. Oh yeah? The Lord gonna show you, man. Yeah, that's why niggas in the world gonna be destroyed. That's why his ass in the world. Yeah. Cause he pray, hey, what he say? Cause he really said because of pride to see himself be destroyed in trouble, man. Right. All right? right. Especially America, man. It's the most prideful place in the world, man. All right, you told me something? Yeah, I got a fast one. This is a Sirach 5 and 7. Let no terror. Con, con. This is a Sirach 5 and 1. Set not thy heart upon thy goods. Yep. And say not. I have enough for my life. That's a lot of people do, man. Like that one, the guy said, let me go back and bid him farewell. He want to go back because he probably has some goods. Probably, hey, what month to go uh, 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 spend the last couple of little coins he had, man? All right? Hey, because in a minute, all this C2C going to be destroyed, man. And tell you, it's written. Oh, it's a temple, man. So what you worried about this shit for, man? Hey, when, it, when the MOTV come, you got your eyes upon your goods, Keep that comfortability, you're gonna have to switch over, man. And if you do that, you're gonna be destroyed, man. So right now the time we gotta take our really it's the time for us to really, what he said, or be strong in his race. It's not time to separate mentally from this world, man. So when shit happens, you can just drop it and leave it like this shit don't matter. You're not attached to it. Exactly. Well, to be honest, hey, you should not be attached to it anyway. You should be attached to it. Because when you go into wisdom Solomon, it's the same chapter. They say, when you dwell with wisdom, you treat people without care. So all this shit shouldn't matter anyway, man. If you in the in the books, or if you have your mind set on the Lord, man. Hey, and plus, from the Lord and the back of the sixth chapter, they tell you the 33rd verse, they say, seek the Lord, seek the kingdom of heaven, and all these things shall be added to you. So all these things don't come to you anyway. If you serve the Lord, that's the mindset you should have. That's what that, 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 that's what proper understanding. Once you understand it, you're like, oh, it's easy to throw it away. But I know I'm going to get it. Yup. Yeah. Sure. And, you and it's going to be pure. Yep. Yeah. Why would you want why would you want anything in this world when it's all tainted, man? Yep. Yeah. And we want things uh, pure, man. I I want to breathe fresh air. I want to, you know, drink clean water, man. Eat real food. Uh, have, yeah, that's what I was just gonna say. Have, have, have a fucking uh, a real woman, man. Okay. All right. Hey, I want to get out of this goddamn body, man. The fuck, man. I, I'm tired of this piece of shit flesh. It's weak. All right, corrupt. It all. It's always fighting with the spirit. I, I want to get out of this damn prison, man. This prison. The flesh. Book of Romans. Chapter 12, verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that you present your body a living sacrifice. A lot, of, a lot of brothers, a lot of, a lot of niggas forget that, man. Hey, when we first come to the truth, man, hey, this is mercy from the Lord. The Lord has shown mercy to wake your black ass up, knowing that you're a fucking angel like man. And you don't want to go hard for the Lord. You don't want to sacrifice for the Lord. What's wrong with you niggas, man? They forget their first love, man. The scriptures in Revelation talk about how this is uh, your first love, okay? I see, Jake, 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 Jake starts forgetting, man. You know how Jake is. They get comfortable, they get complacent, and they start forgetting, man. 
That's why the Lord, man, he's got to whoop your ass from time to time so you don't get comfortable. You're not supposed to be complacent in this world. All right? They have the parable, though. And the Lord gives a parable that says, some of the seeds fell by the wayside. Yeah. Some of the kids, the word, choke some out. Yeah. Hold that real quick. Hold that real quick. Hold that real quick. That's what like the wind, man. This is Matthews 13 yep. and 18. Here you go, 16. 16. But blessed are your eyes for, for they see and your ears for they hear. Yep. For verily I say unto you, that may verily be true, that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see these things which you see and have not seen them. That's right. Look, hey, the men of old. Wish they were in this time period that we're living in right now. Look what's happening right now, man. Hey, hey the MOTB, hey, you know, the era of Paragma is around the corner. World War III is literally happening, okay? And we're seeing the downfall of our enemies right now, all right? Hey, from Esau to the heathen to the two-thirds, the women. This is a beautiful time period. Yeah, a lot of wicked shit is going on. It's gonna vex your spirit, all right? But this is a beautiful time period because the Lord is about to visit this world, man. Okay? And judge this fucking place, man. Hey, all this stuff has to happen before any good can occur. Evil must increase, man. Hey, remember it says, so right before your child, these things are created for the wicked, man. Yeah. So we gotta stay on the path the Lord got us on, man. That's not for the righteous. These famines, these calamities, the sword, all that's for the wicked people, man. That ain't for the elect. They say they have not seen them, and to hear these things which you hear, and have not heard them. Hear ye therefore, therefore the parable of the sword. When one hear the word of the kingdom and understand it not, then come the wicked one and cast away that which was sworn in his heart, that is he received, received, received by the wayside. So hey, some people ain't hear the word, they'll start to get it a little bit, but somebody will come and say, hey, man, it's a, it's a you say, yeah, that's crazy, man. Then right there, they snatched away the little seed. Yeah, that's crazy, man. But he that received the seed, it's a stony place. The seed that he that hear the word, enjoying the betrayal and receive it. Yet have not been rooted in itself, but endured for a while. For when tribulation and persecution arise because of the word, by and by he offends. That's a guy who offended. That's a guy who received the word. He was happy. Like, man, we the king. We don't get this, we don't get that. But then when you start going through them hard times, your people start looking at you funny. Your, your girl might leave. Your, your people, your boss might see you at work uh, on the line teaching. Uh, you start going through job problems, money problems, living yeah. problems. Health all those things, you like, man, it was bad when I was in the world. Yeah. And you just lead up, you just lead the truth and go backwards, man. Hey, you see? What, what happened was, like, like how it says in the book of Revelation, they, uh, uh, you know, I ate that, you know, book. Yeah. And it was sweet in my yeah. mouth as honey. Yeah. But then it became bitter in my belly. Yeah. Because what happens is after about like that year, year of change, yeah. it starts getting real bitter, man. Because the Lord starts testing you, man. Yeah. All right, hey, what does it say? That's the rock wisdom. Yeah. It takes you through crooked paths. Yeah. Yeah. Through them crooked paths, all right? Yeah. And like the brother said, hey, you start dealing with, uh, 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 you know, marital problems and family issues with your, you know, your parents, yeah. all right? And you lose your job yeah. and your reputation is gone yeah. and you're known as the crazy guy in the family now. Yeah. Fuck it, good, man. I'll be crazy for the Lord, man. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck you people, man. Yeah. yeah. It's a... It's a rocket. And all that's fire, man. Yeah. That's why I said you come to serve the Lord, prepare our soul for temptation, temptation, man. All right, the Lord ain't gonna just open you up to these secrets. He gotta take you through certain tests. And then you pass one level, you give you a little bit more. You pass another, you give you a little bit more. You pass another, you give, he gonna constantly try you, man. Right? Sometimes you look like you going through the same damn test, but you ain't doing something right, man. But then once you, once you pass, you can feel it like, yeah. man. But then another one comes, man. I give you a little break, then another one comes, man. That's how the Lord is, man. Shit, the Lord might bombard you, man. Yeah. Shit, I got, I, I had four fucking months of just straight fucking hell, man. The Lord. I was on the I'm saying the road. You hit my ass with it, bro. Yeah. It's getting fucked up, man. Well, you know? Well, you know? Hey, it's, hey. it's some serious shit, man. Dude, the Lord, hey, he just wants, what it is, is he wants to see uh, who's your integrity at, man. Yeah. Do you have it or not? Yeah. Hey, the brother said it. He's proving you right now. He's proving his friend. Yeah. Oh, 
Let's say verse 22. Hey, we gotta survive. We gotta go through this test. Because the ultimate test is coming, man. The hour of temptation. Alright? The Lord about to see who really down with him, man. Alright? Are you gonna fold and go take the mark? Why are you gonna stick to the Lord like the Lord said we gonna eat? Let me wait on him, man. Verse 22, it say, he also that received seed among the drunk, I mean thorns, and he that hear the word, and the care of the world, and the deceitful of the riches, took the word, and he become unfruitful. And hey, that's the guy who was on, he still gave his eye upon the world, man. And where it says in Matthew 6, chapter, you can't serve two masters, man. You either gonna love one, or you gonna hate the other, man. All right? You gotta have your energy focused clearly on the truth. Right. Yeah, we use the world, but we don't abuse it, man. Now you, hey, wait, uh, brother said, uh, you enter the matrix when you got to, man. Yeah. Other than that, we in his word, man. We separate. Then the Lord said, be ye holy as I'm holy, man. Yeah. Holy yeah. means set apart from these people, man. That's right. All right? We, hey, what did it say? Take not what's uh, tiered and what the pleasure, what the weak has pleasure in, I believe. That's right. All right? So, hey, hey, if people love that, that's what you're supposed to hate, man. That's right. Hey, and what you love, they're supposed to hate it, man. Yeah. Hey, we're supposed to be in difference from one another, man. They say every piece of the trucks they like. Matter of fact, where that, bro? And also tell you, and also tell you in Revelation, man, that that uh you can't be booked one, man. And that's what a lot of a lot of people do. They want to put one foot in in the world and then one foot in, in the truth. Yeah. You can't be like that, man, because the Lord said what well, he was he would screw you out your mouth. And you can see, and you can slap your brother. And you can see brothers, like even brothers in the truth, man. You can see when the brother been kind of slacking on his read. He's doing a lot of talking, no precepts coming out. He don't know what time it is. He don't know the flavor of the wheat. He can't tell you what the apostle talking about. Uh oh, uh, uh, he be attacking this week. Cause you know every week he's been a new stuff. And everybody who talk on the videos, he just oblivious. He just here, man. You just can't be in this truth and just be in La La Land, man. You gotta know what's going on. That's a, that's a true definition of a watchman, man. See, you gotta be active. The, the, yeah. the apostles always say it. You gotta be active. You can't be, uh, you know, those guys just holding post all day, man. And you really gotta be in this thing, man. And, and that goes, it, it goes into your works. All right. This is Rock 13 and 14. It says, "Love Yahweh all thy life, and call upon Him for thy salvation." Exactly. And, and you got a lot of uh, people that say they're the truth. They're, they're not even calling upon the Lord for salvation, man. Now you you should be begging the Lord to get you out of this place daily, man. You ain't crying. You comfortable, man. Yeah. You smiling and shit. Don't get me wrong. We don't just walk around just beat down like some punk, you know. But at the end of the day, man, hey, we said uh, uh, lots of uh, righteous souls next day, man. Yeah. All right. Hey, you both, hey, hey, man, we, hey, this ain't living, man. You gotta go to fucking work every day. You never got time for yourself. All right? Working from tech to tech, man. Body and flitches, you got demons you gotta battle with, man. Yo, yeah. go to work, your boss, an asshole, man. You got a woman ruling over you, man. Still. Shit, brotherhood. <laughs> That, 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 that's a, a whole nother, the, the whole nother, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I said, look, man, then you gotta deal with brothers. That shit ain't easy, man. You but, know? but it's part of being active, man. Yep. Hey, that's why Paul said it's much needful for me to be among you brothers, because hey, he, he wanted to perish. He was tired of being here, man. We tired of this place too. But it's more needful for us to teach this truth. It's more needful to be here among brothers, because what? Brothers gotta be built up. Hey, that's what's being proactive, man. Watch your brother's videos, watching your brother being your brother keeper, man. Some brothers don't even do that. Slack him, man. Hey, watch your brother. Because guess what? If he on that line and he go off on that scripture, can you correct him? Can he do the same thing? That's what we all about, man. Not just having your hands in your pocket like, oh, he went off. It wasn't me. Right. You know, some niggas do that, man. Actually, uh, uh, scripture in um, Ezekiel 3rd chapter, Hey, it talks about that. Cause if you don't correct your brother, all right, and, uh, uh, if you don't correct him, the Lord gonna jack him up. But if you knew about it, and you ain't correct him, the Lord's gonna jack you up, man. So it's a, hey, that's the whole point of watching. If you see somebody finna die, and you don't warn him, the Lord's still gonna kill him, but he's gonna say, why you ain't warn him? Ain't you a watchman? Now, if you warn him, and he still go off and do what he's supposed to do. That's on him, man. That's the whole point of us out here teach this word. 
we can the blood off our hands, man. Because ain't nobody gonna be able to say, the Lord, I ain't know, I ain't here, man. But what it say in uh, Matthew 24, it's like, this word is part the four corners of the earth, he didn't hear this before, man. Everybody gonna have a chance to hear this word, man. Everybody gonna have a chance to, 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 to repent. All right? Yeah. Yeah. This Rock 13 and verse 15 says every beast loving his life yeah. and every man loving his name. Yeah. All flesh can sort it according to kind and a man will cleave to his life. Hey man, prophets hang with prophets, niggas hang with niggas, hoes hang with hoes, and pimps hang with pimps, man. Everybody hang with who they like, man. All right, if you a righteous man, hey, the, the wicked don't want to be around you, man. Now, if a wicked person is around a righteous man, they use it. And guess what? If a righteous man around a wicked, we using you. That, it go both ways, man. All right? It go both ways, man. Just know that. Because, hey, they, the two don't mix. All right? They don't want you around because they feel if you're bad, you're always correct. You know, I, can't, I can't be the wicked dude I want to be because he going to say something. They go hang with them because we all the same. Right? But then we hang around, they around us. It's a bad taste. Yeah. So it's, it's the, the feeling is mutual, man. This is Proverbs 29 and 27. It says, an unjust man is an abomination to the just. Yeah. And he that is upright in the way is an abomination to the wicked. Right. So, yeah, so hey, this is why we don't want to be around these people, man. Because they're abominable, they're, they're evil, they're wicked. And they're real righteous. We serve them all about you now, Scott. We serve, we, we, we yearn for a righteous kingdom, man. These people want to be here. It's not as wicked as man. Yeah. And you know what? It said, uh, the scripture talking about uh, it is written. It said, corrupt communication. Communication corrupt your manners, man. So you be around too long, too long, man. You can start knowing your ass talking about some phone now. You don't even be noticing that shit, man. All that little language starts slipping out. Be like, what you been hanging around, bro? Because don't nobody, oh, no brother talk like that. You see? But those manners, they, they, they sit there rub off what they say about, uh, so my 13, he had touched a pig. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, so you found that with man. It said, touch not, taste not, handle not. All right? You're supposed, you supposed to flee from that shit, man. All right? Talking about me, hey, we feel like we're going to hey, man, I'm, I'm out of here. Right? I heard you say, stay away from yeah. it. Yeah, hey, put your fork out. It said, don't even go buy it, man. Yeah. It said, stay away from that shit, man. Because then it also told about what? It said, who's some pee if you can be bit by a serpent, man? First thing everybody will say, why would you walk over there with them people, man? Can two walk together and say they be agreed, man? If you ain't on the same, if you not following your whole body sitting out with the pure doctrine, we ain't got nothing in common, man. So you just Ephesians 5 and verse 10, it says, Google what is acceptable unto the Lord, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. That's, that's perfect, man. Yeah. Hey, when you think about it, these people trying to build this place up. We tearing this place down. Yeah. That's the whole mindset. We destroying this place. Every time we go out here and prophesy against the downfall of Babylon, this place fall, man. Yeah. These people want to build this place up. They want to build communities. Yeah. Black Lives Matter. Go only go to black businesses. Yeah. And that shit ain't gonna fucking last, man. Yeah. Y'all ain't learn shit from the from history, man. And that's the that's the mindset of us. Ain't no point of even being around these niggas, man. Yeah. I don't even talk to these niggas, man. I go about my daily life, going into the gym or going to work, and I get away from these niggas, man. Yeah. I be happy to get in the car and pull off from the fucking job, man. Yeah. Talking to these niggas is madness, man. When they say, um, uh, the, the conversation of food is personal, person, man. Yeah. The shit they even talk about is just like, damn, this shit, what man. What the fuck are you talking about? It's, it makes no sense, man. Like, you don't see all this shit happening. You don't see famine. You don't see prices going up, man. War. War is on the all time high. And you talking about you want to fucking build, man. Yeah. See, these cats don't match the scriptures say they're willingly ignorant. Yeah. A lot of these people know shit is happening in this world, but they, they want to turn that blind eye, man. You know? It's like, oh, yeah, there's a fire in the house, but if I don't look at it, it ain't there, man. Hey, that fire's still burning, man. You know, it's still going. It's going to burn that house down. Yep. No matter what you believe and think, man. See, hey, reality's going to start hitting these motherfuckers, man. Yeah, and it's starting to. Yeah. Hey, it's starting to. Because, if, if you, man, you're starting to see the mood of these people. The more and more I come to work, 
I be in a happy mood. They be like, why are you so happy? I'm like, see, you not happy? Hey, man, I'm tired of this place. I know I go to work all the time with these niggas. Niggas be like, man, I'm tired of going to work. Don't get me wrong, I'm tired too. But guess what? I know I ain't going to work for much longer. These people got to worry about bills and shit like that. I ain't got to worry about none of that shit. Go to women. I stay in this truth. Because the Lord take care of us daily, man. But y'all got to come together. This is the problem in chapter 1. Verse 5. My son, walk not thou in the way with them. Yeah, Refrain say, walk, thy walk, foot walk, from slow them. Slow down, dog. Slow down, man. Again. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 15. My son, walk not thou in the way with them. You're not supposed to walk with them, man. Yeah. All right? Because can, can you get real quick uh, uh, Isaiah 13 and 15? Because if, if you're going to join hand in hand with them, what's the repercussion of that? Yeah. Exactly, man. All right? And you're going to get thrust through, man. Can you get it real quick out of the shop? This is Isaiah 13 and 15. Every one that is found shall be thrust through. Yeah. And every one that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. So you're going to fall by the sword. You're going to die, man, all right? If you're walking hand in hand with people. Okay? No? Look at Proverbs chapter 1, verse 15. My son, walk not thou in the way with them. Refrain thy foot from their path. So stand away of niggas. Stand away of the heathens, man. Because all they going to leave you do all they gonna lead you in is through, you know, is to the wrong path, you know? Path of destruction. They, they ways are not from the scriptures, man. They not they're not teaching you the ways of life. They're walking the ways of death. That's what they that mean on walking the path with them. They they trying to go down the broad way, man. We trying to go to the narrow. So we can't walk together, man. The path is different, man. We ain't run the same race. They run the race to be destroyed, man. We trying to escape the fight. Like Lot, when the Lord told him to walk, but don't look back. That's how the, the righteous men are, man. The Lord told us we ain't looking back, man. Yeah, we're, we're looking at, uh, to the new world, so to speak, man. Yeah. And where, where things are, uh, are bigger and better, all right? Pure. Not this one. Not this piece of shit in place, man. Man, this place is so corrupt and crazy, man. Why the fuck, man? If you're in your right mind, why the fuck do you want to entangle yourself with this place, man? Yeah. This is Rock chapter 33 and 14. It says, Good is set against evil, right. and life against death. Look, so is the godly against the sinner, and the sinner against the godly. So it's a big brother we're just going into. It's a separation, man. And we're for life, and the rest of these people are for death. I got uh, I got another one. This is Rock 1 and 25. It says, The parables of knowledge are in the treasures of wisdom, but godliness is an abomination to a sinner. So right. two thirds of our people just got to be done, done away with, man. Yeah. They hear this truth, man. You know, as it says, this is when they hear, but they won't do it. It's a sweet, it's a sweet song to them, man. Sweet to hell with them. This is Rock 13 and 16. It says, All flesh consorted according to kind, and a, and a man will cleave to his life. What fellowship have the wolf with the lamb? So the sinner with the dog. So hey, you don't see wolves and lambs hanging together. You will never see that again. That wolf is going to devour that lamb. It's the same way with these sinners, man. These sinners want our blood. All these people hate us, man. And if these people had a chance to, to take our lives, they would, as they did in, in, in the ancient world. I always seek the lives of the prophets. And they put the, the uh, I'm going to send you all shot of death, man. These people ain't, man, we ain't got no fellowship with these people whatsoever. Uh, this book of, yeah, I got this. It says, what agreement is there between the hyena and the dog? And what peace between the rich and the poor? <laughs> We don't got no, no fellowship with these people whatsoever. Man. We the poor and these people are the rich. Shit, no, any way around, we're the rich, still the poor. Hey, we're rich, rich in faith, all right? Hey, we got the uh, the true riches, man. Hey, wisdom is above rubies and gold, man. Ooh, these people spirit. are spiritually bankrupt, man, okay? They're through out here. Look at them, man. Hey, if you just, if we can just pan the camera around and look at all these people, they're fucking through, man. Exactly, who say a lot around here? Them niggas broken over there. They Mid-day just through, you know? <laughs> Broken at noon day. Grown as fuck, too. Uh, <laughs> people are wearing themselves in uh, wickedness and destruction, man. Like, we're about life over here, man. See? These people have no hope, man. They're through, man. Hey, the, the American dream is done. It's gone. It's over with, man. All right? The American dream is through. And it's going to continue to get worse in America. All right? And your pri food prices are going are to keep going up gas, okay? You're going to uh, 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 experience famines because there's no food. 
Hey, go to your local grocery stores, man. Empty, man. All right? Hey, they, 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 they have a term. It's a, a, a truck to shelf stocking now, man. Whatever comes from these trucks, man, they go straight to the shelf. There is nothing in the back. You know, back in the day, you were like, hey, uh, hey can you check the back of me if you got your XYZ thing? They, they don't got it, man. So, hey, think about this. If those trucks stop shipping, what's going to happen? And that's going to lead to what? Civil unrest. Chaos. So your neighbor that you've known for, well, you know, 10, 15, 20 years, he's going to be the one that one that's robbing you now, man. Okay? And he's going to be for raping your daughters and your, and your wife, man. Because he's been eyeing them to, hey, forever. Hey, this is the reality of what's going to happen in America, man. The second end of chapter 15, verse 1. Behold, speak down in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Yeah, and that's what we do. We're telling you, look, man, this is what's happening, what's gonna happen according to what? The Bible. Okay? These things are are, are written from the beginning, man. True. Alright, as the brother said, these are faithful and true. Hey, hey, some of us brothers have been teaching for years, man. Okay? And we've been telling you people these things were gonna come, man. Alright, you didn't believe us five, ten years ago. But now, hey, this is happening to you. This is happening in real time, man. Okay? It says, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. And ultimately, who put it in our mouth? The Heavenly Father through His Son. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay? That's who put it in our mouth, man. Well, we didn't one day just say, man, I, I, you know, fucking America's going to be destroyed by missiles. Oh, but before that's going to happen, you're going to have X, Y, Z things occur. No, we didn't, we didn't think about this, man. Hey, all of us were doing all sorts of things. Some of us were in college. Some of us were game banging. Hey, some of us were, you know, uh, having a wife and a kid, you know. So, you know, working the job, you know. Yeah, you know what I mean? Playing basketball. Hey, you got brothers up here who, were, who woke up when they were kids, so to speak, man. They were playing video games and shit. Not thinking about shit, man. Then the, hey, the Lord just said, wake up. Verse 2. They caused them to be written in paper, but they are faithful and true. Yep. Hey, hey, everything that the Lord has put in this Bible is faithful and true, man. Okay? And hey, you all can fight it, man, all day. Hey, they, the Lord don't give a shit if you believe it or not, man. But what if some what is it, Romans 3? What if something not believe, believe, man? Right? This the book. Of Isaiah, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 55. Verse 11, so shall my words be that go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall come that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. So all these words that's being spoken about, you know, the birds on the highways for years and years, you know, all this stuff is coming true. You know, the destruction of America, you know, the famines, you know, all, you know, the crashing of the dollar, all that's coming true, you know. This place will be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles, man. Beautiful. It, it needs to be destroyed. Look at the wickedness that it produces. And everything, and you don't even know if you can call this person a he, she, yeah. you know what I'm saying? They might identify themselves as a they, an it, okay? You don't know what the hell to be saying at half the goddamn time, man. You know? All right? Then, then you got, uh, you know, uh, pedo, you know, pedo, you know, on the rise right now. Bestiality in Europe. A lot of a lot of freak shit that goes on out here, man. Straight freakism, man. I'm um, straight on godliness, is the brother said, man. All right. This is a terrible fucking society, man. Hey, a lot of the meats that you're buying, them, they probably got fucking human meat in there, man. All right. You think you're eating fucking a cheeseburger, man? Hey, man. That's basically yeah. that's basically what McDonald's sells. McDonald's sells human meat, basically. It's uh, 1 John chapter 5 and 19, and we know that we are of the Most High in the whole world life in wickedness. And the scripture said that the uh, and wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and the earth works are fulfilled, man. And that's the society that we live in, a moral decay. We got all type of alphabets, that, and things that the Lord has judged Sodom and Gomorrah thousands of years ago are happening right now, man. It says that Sodom and Gomorrah was a uh, incident. Unto those that actually should live on Gavi. So what's gonna to happen to this place? 
Hey, hey, uh, even uh, uh, worse than destruction, man. Hey, shit. Dude, this place is going to be like Sodom and Gomorrah. It's going to turn into a wasteland. If it's see the Lord, he's got so much anger, he's going to break this goddamn land into three pieces, man. That's how much anger the Lord has with this place. Think about how many missiles have to come and hit this place in order for it to crack into three pieces, man. This is Isaiah 13 and 19. In Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldeans, excellency, shall be as when Yahweh overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. What happened? Fire and brimstone. Right? Sure, the entire land, all of the inhabitants of the land. That's the same thing that happened to these guys. works. Like the way of ICP and nuclear missile fire. And chariot fire. This place will burn forever and ever. A very, very long time. And the souls of you people will be in torment. So, hey, if you don't want to say the Lord, so be it. It's the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 1. Verse 9, the thing that has been, it is that which shall be, and that which is done, that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun. Like the book on the Sodom and Gomorrah and how it got burnt down, you know? This place is going to get burnt down, you know? Worse than Sodom and Gomorrah, due to thermonuclear missiles, this place will be broken into three pieces, man. This place is going to be a fucking desert. Hell, man, you know, all the lakes going to dry up, all the rivers going to dry up. That's how, that's how bad this place is going to get burnt up, man. Everything's gonna be destroyed by fervent heat. Everything's gonna be turned to fucking ashes, man. This is the book of Proverbs 9 and I'll start at 4. Whoso is simple, let him turn and hither. As for him that wanted understanding, she said to him, Come, eat my bread and drink of the wine which I have mingled. That's why the prophets are out here, man, to aid. The, the prophets are out here to reprove the people, man, to seek out those who want salvation, man. Those that don't aren't comfortable in this wicked society. Because, and like the brother mentioned, hey, a lot of people know that this world is fucked up. Sooner or later, it's going to come to an end. But they choose to ignore it. All right? But there's, uh, there's people out there that want answers, man, that want to receive hey, some hope of, of receiving salvation. It says, verse 6, Forsake the foolish and live, and go in the way of understanding. He that reproveth, he that reproveth a scorner, giveth to him himself shame. And he that rebuketh the wicked man, giveth without giving, getting himself in blood. Reprove a scorn, so he reprove not. And say verse seven. He that reproveth the scorner, giveth to himself shame. And he that rebuketh the wicked man, giveth himself in blood. That's why we don't waste time with. Hey, you see, the best said the one or two reminiscences, you reject man. You want that, that word blood up, it go into a mark. You're going to fight that nigga, man. All right? So that's all it does. If you turn to prove a scorner, it's only going to go two ways. He either going to get corrected, or you want to correct his ass, man. All right? That's it, man. So if you see he can't get it, man, walk away from him, man. You know? Yes, 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 don't, uh, catch the like this one. My God, man. It's the book of Matthew chapter 7, verse 6. <laughs> Give not that which is holy unto the dogs. Now the cash eat your press before swine. These they trample them on their feet and turn again and rend you. So if you keep telling, telling the truth to the people and they don't get it, you're going to end up fighting them. And that word rend means to go into violence, man. It's going to end up in violence. You know, we're going to end up fighting that motherfucker. Huh? <laughs> That's the book of Proverbs 9 and 8. Reproof not a scorner unless he hate thee. Rebuke a wise man and he will love thee. Give instruction to a wise man and he will yet be wiser. Teach a just man, and he will increase in learning. So that's what we're out here to teach, man. So those that want wisdom, man, not the foolish, not the people that just in a mind for you and want entertainment. That's not what we're out here for, man. All right, the scripture talks about the, the harvest of the Lord are pleasure with, but the laborers are few. You know, we're looking for those laborers. I got one. This is Rock chapter 7 and 34. It says, Hell not to be with him that weep. And born with them that born, and that's the brother brought in that from verse 9 and 4. Let me stop you that uh, Ezekiel 9 and 4. Hey, we're supposed to be crying out against the abomination of death here, man. Hey, hey, the true uh, men of the Lord are going to be crying out. That's the one that's going to be crying out. That's the one that's going to be crying out. Alright. This is Isaiah 13 and verse 20. It says, It shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt here from generation to generation. That's after the destruction of this place. All right, what you people know as America, Babylon the Great, the scripture, this place will be destroyed by way of fire, man. And it will never be inhabited. 
says, neither shall the neither shall the Arabian pitch ten years. I said, neither shall the Arabian pitch ten years. Neither shall the shepherds take their fold there. But the wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be full of vocal creatures. Owls shall dwell there, and satyrs shall dance there. And you can read that also in uh, Isaiah 34 chapter. I just placed it up. Hey, that, that fire, the sword, the sword of war is going to come down upon Idumea, upon Babylon, and great men destroy this place. You can't have to destruct the fire is, 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 you know, uh, uh, it's not burning. Right? It, 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 it's burnt out. Me and the only thing that's going to be here is it, it, it's desert. It's desert. Man, it's never going to, it's going to dwell here in this land ever again. I just said the Arabian is not going to pitch sin anymore. No, it's not going to be any more marketplaces. None of that shit, man. All this shit is going to go up in flames, man. It's uh, Revelation 18, verse, t uh, verse 9. And the kings of the earth who have committed for the case and live deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they succeed the smoke of her burning. Yeah, because hey, these people ain't going to dare to make no, make no more money with Babylon, man. This, this place is a, is a big ass uh, fucking money maker. You know, and then once the place goes down, everybody, damn yeah, man, and Babylon is gone. And it said, verse 10, stand and fall off for the fear for torment, saying, alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come, and the merchants, and all those who got uh, stores, right? Yeah, and the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, but no man buyeth their merchandise anymore. So yeah, man, it, this place is going to be done. All right, Babylon is not going to come back. All right, it's, it's, this place is already crumbling, as you see. All right, it says they take bomb for a pain, yeah. you know? Hey, man, you can't take bomb for this place. There's nothing you can do to heal Babylon. Yeah. This is the will of Yahweh Shemal shot that this place is going to go down, man. Hey, even when uh, or the Lord... And how was spoke to the prophet Jeremiah when he said that he actually was mocking him. You know, the Lord got a sense of humor, like, hey, take bomb for him. She might never might heal him. But he already know he ain't gonna be healed when you know what I mean? Uh, the destruction, man. So the place is gonna continue just crumble and crumble and crumble. Until eventually it's gonna it, it's gonna thrust through those missiles. This place will be this place is gonna get raped, man. Oh. What is it? That's why it's called old birds of Babylon, man. There's not, there hasn't been a major war. America hasn't really been made to touch, man. But the Lord's about to touch him, man. And once the Lord touches, there ain't going to be no war, man. All right? This is Isaiah 47, 1. It says, come down and sit in the dust, O birds of daughter of Babylon. Yeah. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, yeah. O daughters of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Hey, this place is going to be called tender and delicate. The Lord about to touch this place, man. All right, with judgment. All right, a judgment that shall never be ever written about ever again, man. All right, go ahead. It says, take the millstones and grind meal. Uncover, the, uncover thy locks. Make bare the lead. Uncover the thigh. Pass over the rivers. Hey, the Lord, hey, the Lord is making Esau bare, man. Alright, that's what he's uncovering the, the wickedness of this place, man. Okay. It says, thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Hey, what's the nakedness? That's seeing you've been doing, man. When it says, hey, what's the night of chapters? It says, the house of the Lord are upon the simple kingdom, man. And he will destroy upon the face thereof, man. That's the nakedness, man. The same nakedness when all, uh, 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 Adam and Eve said, we're naked. We're down deep. They know they had sin, man. That's what that means, man. The Lord's uncovering your sin. No shame, man. Go ahead. It says, yea, thy shame shall be seen. Right. I will take I will take vengeance. Yeah. And yeah. I will not need thee as a man. Hey, because the house said when you come back this time, man. He ain't coming on no donkey, man. He coming in the fathership. Alright? With multiple angels, man. To destroy this place, man. Matter of fact, you remember this 19. Where it talks about uh yeah? exactly. you know what? Hey, that's we got the uh up in the pre Preach and prophesy about, man. Our Lord and Savior, how the sands come back to save us, man. We ain't gonna do nothing. We're gonna call upon your help by see our sad, and he gonna come deliver us, man. That's right. All right, Lord, will we endure? That's right. But your house sad is coming to get the elect. 
His name will be exalted. What did it say? It said, oh, uh, the name of your house sign every knee shall bow, man. And every tongue shall confess. That's right. All right? So when you do it willingly or unwillingly, you will do it, man. That's right. Uh, this book of Revelation 19 and 10. Yeah. And I fell at his feet to worship him. Yeah. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have, that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Right, and that, that's that's also because we don't bow before anything but Yahweh Shai. All right, it tells you that in um, Exodus the 20th chapter. We don't bow, we don't bow before nothing. Any Jews, none of that, man. You keep going Worship God. For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Right, the spirit of prophecy. All right, that's why we gotta be, be in prophecy. Because you, if you're not in prophecy, Yahweh Shai is not dealing with you, man. The Lord is not dealing with you whatsoever. Because what, what, what are you doing? Why are you a prophet? A prophet prophesies. You know, to say before. You gotta be occupied in prophecy. You got that right here. In Sirach chapter 39, verse 1, it says, But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High, and is occupied in the meditation and meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecy. Right, you'll be, God, you'll be occupied in prophecy. Right, if the Spirit of the Lord is dealing with you, you're going to be on these prophecies, man. Say, okay, what, what, what else is there to talk about? There's nothing else to talk about. There's nothing else to go into, man. You got to, if you're a prophet, you got to prophesy. Yeah. All right. Now, what you saying, brother? No, I just got a question. Like, what's the difference? y'all and other Hebrew groups. Why is there so many different Hebrew groups? You know what I mean? Well, brother, a lot of them, a lot of them, a lot of them uh, groups that you probably see don't go into prophecy. Are they performing you? Are, are they telling you about the MOTV? Are they telling you about martial law that's about to come? Are they telling you, preparing you for things to come? The Lord about to destroy this place, man. The Lord is ultimately going to come back and destroy this place and all the wicked people that's in here. So all, all these other prophets telling you about that? Because I don't know what group that you uh, listen to or you, you study from, but they all, they doctrine all got holes in them. And then on top of that, they also don't tell you the things that surely shall come to pass to prepare you to get salvation. Because that's ultimately what we need to get. How do you get salvation? Let's get that. Let's get uh, Isaiah 60 and uh, start at 1, man. It's Isaiah 60 and 1. Arise, shine, for thy light is come. It's Isaiah 61. Where's the chapter 6? Isaiah 61 and 1. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to be to preach good tidings unto the meek. So it's a group out here that the Lord put the Spirit upon on to teach good tidings to the meek. When you go into good tidings, it means the good news. So what are we going to teach you? The good news that was coming to Yahweh about the Bible Keep going. Uh, he has sent me to bind up. Keep going. All right, hey, well, the wicked people. Don't no way for sure. Keep going. Right. And says, he has right. sent me to bind up the brokenhearted to proclaim liberty to the captives. And, and who's the captives? We are. We are here in prison, man. We the one that out here that uh, was put over there to, to be in, uh, for a punishment, man. All these other yeah. nations above us. So all these other camps don't teach us that, man. Don't teach us to tell us who we are and where we, who our power really is. Let me say this too. Now you got camps that teach the Israel, but they're not warning the people. They, and the brother was just going into it, the spirit of prophecy, man. They, they, they ain't telling you about the MOTV that's coming, man. They ain't teaching the correct name of the Lord, man. They ain't warning the people about the famine that's coming, the riots. All right, Esau coming down for to put your ass in the uh, camp, uh, 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 yeah, conscious, but whatever, but the concentration camp and chop the fucking head off the guillotine, man. That's right. Hey, cause, hey, cause there's nothing physically you can do to escape this punishment, man. Huh? And when I say Peter said, "Corrupt the Lord to your mind," man, you gotta be mentally prepared for this, man. Not physically, it's mentally prepared, man. Right? That's why I said the spirit of a man was uh, sustaining his infirmity, but the wound is still over there. So if you're weak in the man, you're going to feel these coming days, man. And the only way to be built up is to be built up in the right way of the Lord. Because you know, it's easier to take a punch if, I, if somebody say, you can eat your little jump. You can brace yourself, right? But if, if you don't even know it's coming, he can damn knock you out. That's what a lot of these people about to receive, man. A knockout. Uh, yeah, they don't know what the fuck for the 
That's a song. That's good cheer. Uh, I'll, start it, I'll start it again. It's uh, Isaiah 61 and 1. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of, of the prison to them that are bound. Uh -huh. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. And that's what a lot of towns don't go into, man. They don't tell you that uh, the Lord is about to come back and destroy this place, man. A lot of these towns be trying to build, take your money and all this other false doctrine stuff, man. The Lord is about to destroy this place. You going to say something, brother? Nah, they want to be an Israelite in America. Go to work with the fringes on. They happy with being an Israelite, but as long as they can live in uh, uh, flourish in America, yeah. man. They ain't trying to flee his place, man. And, and they're telling you that the Lord is about to come back. Are they proclaiming the year of the Lord? Are they telling you that the Lord, this might be the year, man? They just guess what? But the only way you can proclaim the year, you have to say, is through destruction. Because yeah, he said, I came to bring out peace, peace but a sword, sword man. Yeah. So if you teach the how was said, he's coming back for destruction, man. That's right. You teach the prophecy then, man. That's right. Because that's exactly what he's coming to do. He ain't coming to hand out flowers and kiss everybody, embrace everybody, man. Even the elect gonna be afraid, man. Yeah. We're gonna be fighting a little bit, man, because hey, the Lord's coming back to terror, man. I didn't the prophet say, damn, Lord, you was but you mad to see? That's how much destruction. Hey, the Lord said vengeance in this in this heart, man. Right. Right. This is Isaiah 63, verse 1. It says, Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? This that is glorious in his apparel. Traveling in the greatness of his strength. Hey, Boss was uh, when you go into the history of Boss, that was an old chief city in Edom. Well, Boss today represents what? America, man. Now, this is the chief city, man. Uh, and something too. When you go into that word, Basra means sheepfold. And the Lord, he always what? Requires a sacrifice, man. So the Lord is going to take Edom, man, and sacrifice his ass, basically, man. Yeah, hey, they go to Isaiah 34 chapter, man. This is, hey, America's done with a big ass altar, man. All right? And the only ones escaping is the elect. Everybody left here is going to be a sacrifice to the Lord, man. It says, I that speak in righteousness, I need to say, Where art thou red and thine apparel, and thy garments like him that treaded in the wine fat? I have treaded, I have trodden the wine press alone, and of the people there was none with me. Hey, that's an allegory, man. That's how much killing the Lord about to do. What it says in Revelation, the blood should be up to the horse's bridle, man. It's another script that says the blood should be up to a camel's crew. Mm -hmm. All right? That means there'll be a lot of killing the Lord for the dude, man. Yeah. And contrary to public belief, the Lord ain't all love, man. The Lord has people he hate. The Lord said he angry with the wicked every day. Right. Yeah. It says, I will shred them, I will shred them in my anger and trample them in my fear. And their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my raiment. The Lord will get busy, man. Busy. Hey, that's what they don't teach you in these churches, man. They teach you the Lord is all love. Alright, even these people, man. They got that Christian spirit on them, man. The Lord uh, conquers all, man. But you ain't been so no love for America and since you've been over here, man. All you've been doing is getting beat down, shot in the streets, put in the ghettos, get served the worst food. They just now starting to give your ass some uh, so-called uh, uh, decent wage, man. And even that, now the town with everything is going up. But you ain't got shit, man. Your tech looking good, but then everything went up, so you back to broke again, man. It's an illusion, man. Right, back, back full of holes. Yup. And tricking your ass. Why they getting rich in Because they, if you have a thing, if you really paying attention, they expose themselves, man, especially because of this pandemic, man. All, all these stores suck. If you ever went, got any, like, go to these clothing stores, shoe stores, all those stuff. But all the big major stores like Walmart, Jewels, Ta Costco, Target, Amazon, they had, they made billions of dollars. They made record profits. Yeah. They all made record profits. That reaches the reason. The whole huge part of that whole pandemic was literally transfer the wealth. Yeah. That's all it was about. They transfer the wealth. You know? That's why if you see, ain't no middle class. 
Yeah. And there ain't been no middle class for a, a while, but they really destroyed the middle class with that, man. The small businesses are gone, all right? There, there is no small businesses. And then you remember when the pandemic was at its height? Yeah. They would close down all the small businesses and say, oh, you can't do this because of, you know, uh, you know, this disease and all that. But then they allowed the, the major stores to be open. Yeah, the major stores to be open. Good. They, they, they're trying to make it to where it's you either rich or your ass poor, man. Yeah. And that's that go, it. And that go right into the market of the beast, man. Yeah. I mean, the MOTV, man. And it's locked, but it go right into that, man. And they show you exactly I believe last year an article came out. In Georgia. That, yeah, in Georgia said that they they were going what it was like a sap or six hundred or something like that. Yeah. yeah, so they already been promoting it and, and doing these things and showing you that hey, a lot of people these they setting up that that that, that university income. Right? Hey, that's why that um guess what's gonna happen? Now Isaiah thirty one gonna come to pass. Both yeah. go to them that go down to Egypt for help. So it's only different than what we That's the book of Matthew seven and twenty four. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will like unto, I will like it unto a wise man which built his house upon the rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And who is that rock, man? Yahushai. If you're trusting in the Lord, you will not fall, man. You know, baby. Like how's it going to continue? It says, verse 26. And everyone that hears these sayings of mine and do it them not. And that's the key, man, because a lot of people don't do the sayings of the Lord. The Lord tell you keep it from memory. The Lord tell you go out and, and prophesy, man. So if you don't do these things, what's going to happen? Shall be like unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. Uh -huh. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and the and beat upon that house. And that 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 storm, that that rain, that that that. That uh, represent a, a picture, man. So those things that happen to come upon you, you're not gonna find yourself strong in that day. You wanna be that foolish man, that 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 see when that all tribulation come upon you, you gonna fall, man. That foolish man because he didn't build his foundation on your house side. He built his foundation on this America, on on Esau, on this system, man. Knowing that all these things is gonna fall. Only thing that's gonna hold you in that day. It's the Lord, keep going. It says, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. Because that's, that's the only thing that's going to come. And if you trust in this place, you're going to fall because this place is falling. And if you trust in this place, you're going to fall right along with it. That's right. It says, uh, Isaiah, I think 31, he that help and the helper shall fall together. Rich in what? Faith. That's the sacrifice, man. 
everybody up here sacrificed to do what? Bring his word to the elect, man. Boy, say, I ain't do all these for the elect's sake, man. We made up our treasures in heaven, man. Hey, guess what? In the day of necessity, when y'all need, when y'all need things, guess what? The men of the Lord ain't got to run to Egypt for help, man. We got to run to, we always run to the Lord, man. Right? Now I was going to quote the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Yes. <laughs> Proverbs 18 and 10 says the name of Yahweh is a strong tower. The, the righteous running into it and is safe. That's what the Lord helped us right now, man. We depend on the Lord now. How much more in a day of trouble? The Lord be helping us now. So why would he, why would he help us uh, uh, at the end, man? Unless you walk away, that's why he would help you, man. Unless you turn your back on the Lord, man. Cause he's still true. He gonna hold get to his word, man. All right, so we gotta hold get to us. We all made a vow here, man. The door has turned back, and that's on you. What it say? You have not forsaken me, but your own selves. You know, this truth is a thing of survival, man. A, a thing of endurance. We're trying to endure to the end. We're trying to move through the wolves and not get killed, man. Right. Uh, verse two, Isaiah thirty-one to two. And he also is wise that will bring evil that will not call back his words, but will rise against the house of the evil doers. Lord is rising up. It's a light, man. So that when that day of trouble comes, hey, we be having one. We have uh Babylon feel. Because what? The prophets out here the prophesying about these things, man. Because you can only do weakness for so long. Hey, the Lord said that he's tired of it. We tell you in second half of 15, man. Hey, the, the, uh, he, he tired of this shit, man. Especially all the things that Esau create and do to the elect, man. This man have went and did the unsearchable things, man. And you think the Lord is okay? You think the Lord is not pissed off? The Lord's gonna destroy you, man. You know? And against the help of them that work in liberty, not even churches are men and not God. And the horse is flesh and not spirit. Uh -huh. When Yahweh shall stretch out his hand, both he that help him shall fall. Like, can I make a point on that? Man? Oh, Look, you gotta remember that they, at the end of the day, Esau is just a man. Yeah. Okay? Esau is just a man. All, all these other nations are just men. Okay? But look, we got the true living power that's fighting for us. Remember that. Why, why be afraid uh, of these, you know, no. You know, these other nations, man, Esau, you know what I'm saying? You know, why worry? The Lord can, can do anything, man. All things are possible with the Lord. But you just got to believe and have faith. See, that's the main thing, man. Do you have faith, yes or no? Yeah. The Lord be with you, who can be against you? Hey, the scripture says that uh, strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for you. Right. If you're not striving for the truth, what makes you think the Lord is going to strive for the fight for you? Why would he? What are you saying? Like, like, you, you want to be a nigga all your life until you be a nigga. Like, what else? What you think you just gonna? Because niggas always want to call upon the Lord when they get in the jam. When shit ain't right or shit bad in their life happen, man. Well, what happened to calling upon the Lord when he ain't doing good? Right. When, when he gave you that job or when he gave you that ass that night, man. Because, you know, hey, it's of the Lord. That's true. Hey, you got to understand that, man. Hey, the Lord don't have to, but he does that because guess what? It's the word that he gave. He said that he don't give uh, what, uh, man not to dwell alone. So he gave you a woman, or he gave you that yeah, ass yeah. that night, man. You still supposed to say, call all y'all about smell and shine. Right. They just get proud for be like, oh, I, got, I did that. No, okay. You're going to see your ass don't get ass for another couple months. Yeah. Keep going. Oh, shit. He asked something real quick. Yeah. Real quick. Oh, oh, this is Ezekiel 28 and 1. It says the word of Yahweh came again unto me, saying, Son of man, say unto the princes of Tyrese. Hey, hey, that's talking about Esau now, man. Go ahead. It says, Thou, thou, thou sayest, it says, so like it says, Thus said the Lord Yahweh, mm -hmm. because thou art, it says, because thine heart is filled, is lifted up. Right. And thou said, I am a God. Yeah. I sit in the seat of God, yeah. in the midst of the seas. Yeah. Yet thou art a man. And not a God. Though thou set thy heart as the heart of God. Yep. And the Lord, hey, that's the Lord talking to Esau, man. He said, I, I am a God. I see the seed of God, man. What it says, Isaiah 14 chapter, is this the man? 
Did he say he gonna sit the sides of the north? All right, above the stars? That's him ruling over Israel, man. All right, this man got a God complex, man. The Lord will even turn. He gonna cut that, he coming back with a pure energy, man. Yeah. The Lord don't need no guns, man. That was so blessing. All right, the Lord about to destroy you with so blessing and with the terrorists, man. Straight energy, man. This destruction has never been written about ever in life, man. And never will be again, all right? So all that, that hey, all those that draw on to Esau hand in hand, hey, you're gonna be destroyed with them, man. I do think this is a big man whoop. The Lord's coming back and gonna take him down, man. Hey, you're gonna dig this big problem, man. Hey, uh, America ain't going down. Right. America got all the army, all the military. The right. Thing is, bro, America is going, you're gonna really see how powerful America is. Yeah. And you start to see how weak this place is, man. Especially with all this thing that's happening in Ukraine, man. How they made Ukraine go into uh, uh, making war with Russia, and they not even back it up, Ukraine. Saudi Arabia. They were making fun of America. You had uh, even uh, China. They were making fun of Elon Musk, man. Yeah. Hey, don't take America for uh, uh, serious, man. Yeah. You got women in the army, man. Russian numbers laughing. You did you? It was uh, I think a couple years ago. They had a video when you had the uh, the U.S. Army men. They were walking around with fucking high heels on, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, the Russians were they were laughing at man. Nobody take America serious, man. Right. They know this place is dope, man. You got things right. in there that don't know they're they're uh, uh they're gender, man. Yeah. And these other nation military are doing hardcore training and yeah. they're doing fucking making TikTok. Yeah. 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 Hey, you guys, you got the nigga who was shaking her ass, bro, in the fucking uh, yeah. you got Russian shit soldiers in brick cold weather, in negative degree weather, yeah. with no shirts on. Fucking fighting and doing push-ups. That's what that's good to talk about. Like, that's that's good to be. Yeah. Like, that's 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 you got a, a woman leading the army. Yeah. I seen that on the news the other day, man. I'm like, this place is through. <laughs> it's a joke, man. Especially when they they start putting women into power. Yeah. That's the one deep plan of this place. But all already the infrastructure is shot. But then you put women. Oh, women don't need to be in no authority, man. Stripper said, uh, Stripper said, what's that joke? The 39th chapter. The boy have not applied to her understanding, man. A woman don't have understanding. That's not her role, man. Her role is to, to take instruction and follow, man. Nurture the kids, man. A woman, a woman, man, need to just be nurtured. Ain't no way in hell that she's supposed to be making decisions about war or, or right. any fucking thing, man. A <laughs> woman doesn't even know what she wants to do. She don't even know what the fuck to do. <laughs> you gotta tell her what to fucking do every day. Yeah. Fucking madness, man. You gotta be a counselor, man. Look at it, bro. Book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 11. Let the woman learn and sound with all suggestion. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to use some authority over the man, but to be in silence. The point is, you know, a woman don't got no part, you know, don't got, the woman got no business leading at all, man. You know, who's going to fear a woman, man? Who's, uh, that's a fucking laughing hey, stock, man. Look at the results of women leading, man. Look at America, man. Look how how much the society has declined since they got into these power positions. It's evident that they are destructive, they can't lead properly, yeah. okay? Just it's the, evident. Hey, look at the damn household, man. Yeah, the, take, the, the minimum household, ugly household is destroyed, man. Sure. When no father in that house, man, that house is done, man. The, even the boys are feminine. The women that talk, the, the girls that got, hey, how you got the girls most uh, butcher yeah, are stronger than the, the men, man? Yeah. Sit his back. Man, you know, your man be effeminate, be gang bangers, all types, you know, this just fucking weak, man. Monsters, little monsters and shit. Yeah, bring forth Mistress Monsters. Hey, Sirach, the second chapter says the, uh, the curse of the mother of Rudy Fausto. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. a woman can't lead, man. Yeah. Nor make uh, decisions, man. Even in the army, they got to spend more and do more just because it's 
Lord said, that's a, the Lord said, that's a new thing, man. In Jeremiah 31 and 22, it says, How long wilt thou go about, O thou backsliding door? For you, how I created a new thing in the earth, and woman shall compass a man. It ain't never been heard of, man. That's something new. In no society you ever seen a strong black woman, or a strong Edomite woman, or a strong strang of woman. That's, that's some new shit, man. Like, even when you watch like the old movie pieces, they're, they're, they're a woman trying to talk to two men, talk, hey, who is this woman that come to talk amongst men? You know, you always see that in them old pieces, man. How about you gotta get back to them old ways, man? Yeah. Right, that's why the Lord raised up real men. Alright? Hey, why the Lord loved Abraham so much? He said, I know that was set my house in order, man. And in Psalm 68 and 12, it says, Kings of armies did be a face, and she that turned that home divided the spoil. So if you want to find a woman in your home, that's why the Lord said, uh, Hey, cause a woman changes her mind every day, man. Every second. Hey, one day, one day she you in peace, the next day you in all out war, man. Okay. The next day you back in peace, then the next two months you in war, man. Every other hour. Yes. Every minute, huh? Yeah. Hey, bitch don't have no, no thought process. Yeah. That's why I said that she's a uh, pride of wisdom. She basically yeah. has no understanding. Yeah. When you go into that world understanding, it goes into discernment, which that basically goes into decision making. Yeah. It's too much for that. That's why it, it, it's a. Uh, Party is saying, you, you, you got to be their counsel. You got to tell them what to do. Yeah. Hey, uh, this is what you're going to do for the day. You're going to wake up. All right. You're going to, you know, take a shower, whatever, take a bath. All right. You know, you know, get the kids up, cook food. Yeah. All right. Uh, let them nap. Do X, Y, Z. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you really got to give them that. Right. Right now. Scripture talk about yeah. a, a servant, right? The word woman goes to serve. The scripture talk about not leaving an idle servant. Because no. when, you, when you idle, when you leave a, hey, think about it. When you, when you have a woman that's idle, she think about all type of wicked shit. Yeah. She the weaker vessel. When you idle, all type of wicked shit goes to you, my, our man. How much more her, man? Ten times, Ten times worse. No, that's why. That's why the serpent, the so-called serpent, man, that was in the garden, man, which we know was a well, so-called white man, hey, a white man, hey, went to the woman because she was weak. The best. This Psalms 9 and 19 says, Arise on your hour, let not man prevail. Let the heathen be judged in thy sight. Put them in fear on your hour, that the nations may know themselves to be but men. Salah. So these nations are nothing but men, man. They're not, they're not gods, right? They don't have chariot power. They got none of that, man. And they're going to be crushed by your hour, my Right, it's like you know, Dragon Ball Z when the Z fighters fighting Rome. Get that ass rolled, man. That's what that's what it's gonna be in America. Man. Second answer is the 13th chapter. 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 Second that's you see them now, man. Because, hey, in 50, and back in the 50s yeah. and the 60s, we couldn't go out here and prophesy, man, about, about the downfall of America, man. Yeah. Now look at the time, how time changed, man. Right. We have men across the world preaching this world, prophesying the, the downfall of Babylon, man. And they can't do shit about it. Right. They, why do you think they take our videos on YouTube, man? man? How do you think they give us a strike here and there, man? You know why? Because the Lord has left up real men to condemn this place and tell them exactly their judgment, man. I guess so. That's what the Solomon of the Fifth Chapter, the Bible chapter, man. This, uh, real quick, man. Uh, Solomon 9 and 19. Acts 18. That's the point. Acts 18. And, uh, this is, uh, Right here, Acts 18 and 13. This is not found out at 12. Acts 18 and 12. You know, when Gallio was the deputy of Achaia, the Jews made insurrection with one of going against Paul and brought him to the judgment seat. Hey, they say going to deliver some of us up to the governors and council, right? But we read Acts 18 and uh, uh, the second verse. Hey, Claudius kicked the Jews out of Rome because why they always had an uproar. 
Why? Because Paul and them, the word was going out and people were being converted. That's what they say right here. It says verse 13. Saying his fellow persuaded men to worship the most high contrary to the law. So you got a lot of people. That's why Esau taking our videos down. Because this word going out and people waking up like, damn, you know what? Fuck Easter. Fuck Christmas. Fuck 4th of July. Fuck the New Year. And that's what? That, they start to lose money off yeah. that shit, man. Yeah, Fuck right. Halloween. Ain't nobody buying that shit no more, man.
the book of Matthew 15 and 8. There's people drawing nigh unto me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. But in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men.
you know, put, get, you know, wine, smoke, whatever it was, man, right? And then I forgot who was next to him. And he was basically saying, like, bro, you gotta put it out. You gotta stop with the white man. So you know, you know, over the phone. And he basically, once he did that, then he started making big money, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah, because, hey, America, to be successful in America, bro, you gotta trim your weight. Yeah. That's why your pop people say like a way off back and say, look, man, just get you a regular job, man. All right? Just get by the daily bread, man. Because the higher you get in this system, the more you got to go against the Lord, man. Yeah. Yes. What do you want to say? Oh, uh, I had this in Rock 33. This is Rock 33 and 19. It says, Give not thy son and wife, thy brother and friend, power over thee, but thou livest, and give not thy goods to another, lest it repent thee. Long suffering and very plentiful, 
and forgiven sins and save me in time of affliction. Hey, the time of affliction is coming to heaven, man. And we all looking to be saved, man. Especially the time we living in right now, man. This is definitely the time to be looking at the fucking world, man. Alright? This is the time to be going hard for your hard body now with man. It's any day now they can shut this bitch back down, man. Alright? Everything is in place. Alright? All it takes is one motherfucking major disaster to happen, man. Alright, you already see them setting up these false flags of uh, about to come persecute the prophets, man. Alright? So everything's in place, man. We got to stay on point, man. Go ahead. This is That's why our Lord said, watch us, let us pray, man. Because there's nothing physically we can do. But at the same time, we got to just be obedient, man. Abide in that fear, man. Alright, go ahead. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 2 and verse 12. Woe be to fearful hearts, not faint hands, not in a sinner that go to the way. Hey, woe be destruction, man. Hey, whoever fear you have to not be made perfect in love, man. All right? To the Lord, what he say, as the Spirit, he said, the Lord didn't give us the spirit of fear, man. But a power and of a sound mind, man. Well, hey, if somebody's going to put you to death, they can't do nothing. Hey, even you have a sad in the face of death, he said, look. He said, the way he tell the punter said, don't you know I have the power to release you? He said, man, the power is only given from the Heavenly Father, man. You can't do nothing. So you gotta be bold in the face of fear, man. Because can't nobody do nothing to you unless your house by sitting outside allows it to happen. And then what did he say Peter? He said, who is that that will harm you if you be bold of that which is good? Alright? So what's the 33rd chapter, man? It said, they are for the Lord that you be done with it. These are things that we're supposed to be talking about, man. All right, constantly. Hey, it's like a love letter you in jail. All right, you got to keep reading, man. And keep giving you that inspiration, man. All right, every time you feel low, you go back to the letter. He said you coming. It's all fast. All right? Now, this is Sirach 33 and 1. It says, There shall no evil happen unto him that fear your home. The Lord said, There shall no evil have to him, happen unto him that fear the Lord. This abide in the Lord's fear, man. Be your brother's keeper, man. All right? These things are going to pay off. Go ahead. But in temptation, even again, he will deliver him. And what's coming? An hour of temptation, man. It said even in temptation, he will deliver him, man. And guess what? He, he, uh, uh, Revelation 3rd chapter. 13, uh, yep. And that's what we both been talking about, man. The MOTB is coming. All right? It's already really here, man. They just haven't made it mandatory. They're going to start off and it's going to be like a, uh, a credit card. Everybody's going to plan and give if you want to. The plan and give. But then it's going to be like, no, this is a new currency. Man. They even had a summit and came out and said it like, yeah, we see the world The world vision now is we're not going to do a uh, uh, trade with original money no more. That's outdated. We're going to a new digital system. They already just telling you, man. Yeah, they are still this too. A lot of these come down a whole new level of Title loan, yeah. they sell a car, because you know they put the house deed up or whatever they get. 
they put down the market. The jewelry started going. Hell, boy, they ain't got nothing, man. Yeah. Yeah. Women, and you see that? But women are already, man. Yeah. Hey, you see why? Hey, women don't even, like, when they go to work, they get too much, they try to hey, catch money. What they do? They send a slap pussy. They, they show you that in the club. They damn it, said, oh, no, not damn it. The other bitch said, you gotta use what you got to get what you want. Like, look, 
got to deal with, guess what? He's not going to collect this all the time. Let's get you easy to deal with, man. Right. Right. I think he was a funny, you know, funny by funny. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's going to happen? Yeah. That, that's why, this, what is it that? Isaiah 33 and 6, within a thousand yeah. years, yeah. a million exactly. times. Exactly. Like, you know what's going to happen. See, these people, they don't have any vision, so that's why they're going to perish. That, that word vision goes into knowing the Lord from the most high. Yeah. Yeah. prophecies, man. Yep. Yeah. Since they don't understand the prophecies, they're going to lose their goddamn minds, man. They got they got a saying that say, uh, uh, people fear what they don't understand, man. When you don't understand something, you're scared of. Like, you know how a person up in the jail before, he really don't know what to expect. He might heard a horror story, but he really don't know. But a guy who's been there before, he like, man, take me to my cell. Right. Put me in the hotel. Because he's been there already. That's the other reason why a lot of people don't want to live with man. Because they... America teach you that you can eat and eat all you want. You don't have no discipline. But when you try to lose weight, it's so hard. It's, they don't see the vision of being healthy. They don't see the vision of building muscle. So that's why they fear those things. They be like, they don't want the pain. They don't want the, the, the sensation of being great or being young again. That's why they don't do it. Hey, where it say with no vision here to people perish? You gotta, have, you gotta have, hey, even when you read the scriptures, you gotta see yourself in the kingdom, man. Right. You gotta see yourself being that God with the crown on your head, man. You gotta envision the Lord being there like, man. You gotta see him, bro. And hey, this is a movie, what they call like the Mist, Rubber Dirt, and then they got locked in, they, uh, 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 yeah, they got locked in the convenience store, and this so called crazy lady, she's all, everybody's fucking freaking out. She said, It's a God and he's this guy. Long story short, so the, the main character, the guy with the wife and the, the son, he fucking offs his son, his wife, <laughs> and then uh, he, he was trying to off himself and ran out of bullets. And then the fucking uh, army, uh, uh, army military came through, and guess who's on the back of that truck? The so called crazy lady. Uh -huh. Because, but he didn't have that faith. He didn't have that faith. So he was ready. He off everybody in his family. Yeah, yeah. He couldn't even do it. And then look at when by the time he off everybody was like, he could, him and his family couldn't even stop saying. Hey, you know what that was? He lost patience. Yep. Yeah. He ready to say, boy, you're gonna lose patience, man. You can't say you can't off yourself, man. You can't try to save yourself. You gotta wait. How the hell long do it take you? You gotta wait, man. You command to wait.
happened in our mind already, like, man, I'm with the Lord, man. Right. Either you have, your ass is still teeter tottering. Hey, man, your ass might be on the way out, man. Right, because right. you lukewarm. You know what the scripture talk about being loose? He gonna spit you out, man. And it's the wrong time to be turning back now, man. Is that all the last two scriptures of brother? Yeah, this Mm -hmm. Revelation, Revelation, 14, 19, yeah. Revelation 13 and 16. And he calls them all. That's Greek word for it, but basically it, it, it means like it, it's form, fashion, and construction, man. So Esau is literally, put it like this, you got, let's say, five rows, right? All the rows are going to lead into one row, man, all right, which is the, 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 the era of Quran, man. Broadway. You know? It says that he calls them all, both small and great, rich and poor. Doesn't matter your age, right? Doesn't matter your economic class. Free and bond. So you're out here freely or in jail. To receive a carousel in their right hand or in their forehead, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the carousel or the name of the beast or the number of his name. He's not going to make you deep for you first of all that cold, man. You won't be the cold, man. And some people got it already, man. All right? I think it, it was, I saw a baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah Abraham, right. he's like, oh, I don't need nothing. You see, he's so calm. He's like, get it already. Gary Peter to make babies. Yeah. And then you had the, the article that all the brothers been talking about, man. The lady actually got out here. Hey, so he's so put in your face, man. But the prophets have already been speaking that for years, man. The whole boss sent me out the side. That's his mark that's coming, man. Yeah. All right? He put it out here for you people. And all you that take it, he wants you to die, man. Yeah. A grievous death, man. All right? Oh, uh, brother, 14, 9 and 10. Because guess what? You can, you can repent from anything, man. But if you take that mark, you can't repent. Ain't no taking it and popping it out. All right? No. Once you take it, man, you done, man. You stand. Yep. I got the revelation. Yeah, son. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 14, verse 9. The third and the third angel fall through Sam with a loud voice. If any man worship the beast in his image and receive this mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same should drink of the land of the wrath of your house. Which is pouring out without blister into the cup of his indignation. And he should be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So we took that solution to the problem while everybody got a face covered. If you take, if you, if you also take, you know, that, that MOTV that the brother's going into, you're going to be destroyed. Right. You're going to lose the fire. Verse 10, verse 11. And the smoke of their torment is set up forever and ever. And they have no rest, day nor night, who worship the beast in his image, and who shall never receive the right of his name. Verse 11, verse 12, is like the tears of the saints. You are they that keep the commandments of the house and the faith of the house shine. Hey, you keep the man trust the east, you're going to be destroyed, man. Right. I, hey, you've been warned, man. All right, repent. Hey, matter of fact, one more, keep Mark 1, 1 and 15. Yes. This is the book of Mark, chapter 1 and verse 15. It says, it says, the, times, it, the time is fulfilled. Hey, the time is fulfilled, man. And what did it say? Look at that, oh, it seems he polluted the whole earth, man. Just look at everything, look at the TV, look what's going on in your neighborhood. Look at the whole world, man. Everybody is uh, corrupted, man. They have drunk the wine and this fornication, man. They went bad, man. Go ahead. It says, and the kingdom of Yahweh is at hand. And the kingdom of the Most High is at hand, man. All right? And the rebuilding of the third temple is starting now. We're the laughing stones, man. All right? All the brothers that teach the word in truth and sincerity, man. Go ahead. It says, repent ye and believe the gospel. Hey, so, hey, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. So, Lord, we'll let's step back and all praise on that glory to Yahweh. Yahweh, Come on, some great millstone, and peace that takes a collect, man. Salamon, the Bible, ball. Oh,